Hey little babies, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today you are gonna go ahead and watch me transform from this to this. We are also gonna be reviewing this hair today brought to you by Sam's Beauty. So shout out to Kaya from Sam's Beauty for hooking your girl up. We're gonna go ahead and dive right in. Okay guys, so welcome back. This is my hair in its most natural state, freshly washed, deep conditioned. Um, this is what we're looking like, fresh face and all, okay? Also, this shirt is from Identity of She, so if you guys have not heard of that brand, please go check them out. They have like the best type of merch for empowering women. Anyways, back to this wig review. We are going to be reviewing the Stylist Destiny wig by iStyle. And I have her in the color MOP1B slash blonde. Now this is a human hair blend wig with a 13 by 6 HD lace. And the great thing about that is you have the option of getting it in a brown lace or a neutral lace. So I'm going to be using a neutral lace with this video. And this is what she's looking like straight out of the pack. You know how to do the finger snap because I was so excited about the way this color blend was looking. Obviously, it has a pre-plugged hairline. It came with baby hairs as well. And let me just say, the lace on this unit was actually very, very soft. And this is a closer look at what that neutral lace color is looking like. And then, of course, it did have a good little surprise with a band on the back. So if you guys don't want to glue this, you do have the option. Now, I'm showing you guys the lazy way of how I put my hair underneath. Um, if I don't feel like doing cornrows, I pretty much just part it into two sections and then tuck the braids. These are the two products I'm going to be using for this video obviously a lace adhesive and a lace tint so this is what it looks like after i tinted the lace um and it really matched my skin tone great so if you have a similar skin tone to me definitely get the light warm brown um in that lace tint spray now i didn't originally want to do the bald cap method when it came to this just because i haven't worn a wig in a while and i'm like you know what let me just try to see but i definitely am happy i went with the bald cap method for this unit just because it made it look so much nicer <laughs> so um of course you guys have probably seen me do this method a million and one times but i'm taking my active wig spray and spraying that all along the hairline this definitely has overtaken the yellow can of got to be glued i pretty much only use the got to be glued for my actual hair but when it comes to my wig installs this is what i turn to now it's just so much faster so much easier and this is pretty much um <laughs> the real life version of like what i'm looking like as i'm doing this and as you can see this was my realization of how crazy i looked because i did not want to grab my hair dryer at all now i'm pretty much just going to be cutting the wig cap of course um looking back on the footage i probably should have just cut it a little bit closer or at least the lace you'll see later on in the video i probably should have cut the lace a little bit closer to the hairline um but that's just one thing i'd pretty much change about doing this install of course i added the lace tint And y'all know I have to throw my personality in this video, so these this is pretty much really what I'm like when I'm doing this. I'm listening to music and just focusing on, you know, doing this install. <laughs> now, I went ahead and added some more lace glue once I was ready to actually put the wig down. Of course, I'm cutting the ear tabs. And let me just say, my sideburns, I usually sh um, like shave them down just so like the corners of my wig don't lift. Um, this time around, I didn't want to do that just because I'm like, 
I don't know I haven't worn a wig in such, such a long time I didn't think it was really gonna affect it but going into my next wig install I'm probably definitely gonna do that just because it did give me a hard time um, trying to keep the wig cap down on the ear tabs over those baby hairs of my natural hair so I'm just letting you guys know in case you have some trouble keeping your ear tabs down maybe a good tip would be to just um, shave part of your sideburns that are by your ear just so that it all lays down flat anyway I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up um, after I do that just to go just to kind of let it dry and do its thing melt the lace in and this is the first time I like had it on and was seeing how it was gonna look I love the vibe I felt like the blonde pieces framing the face were super cute so I pretty much just wait a few minutes and let it do its thing Now this is what it looks like after I went ahead and melted the lace down. This is what I was mentioning earlier of, you know, next time I wear the unit, I'm probably going to cut the lace a little bit closer to the hairline. I just had to make sure it covered my actual hair though. So um, next time I'm actually going to finesse it a little bit better. But um, this is what I went ahead and did. I was trying to sweep some baby hairs. I did not have any mousse this day. I have some now, but <laughs> I used some Eco Styler coconut gel to kind of finesse the baby hairs around. And as you can tell, um, it took a little finessing just to kind of get it the way I wanted it. I was a little bit frustrated on the ear tabs just because I wanted this like completely flawless but as you can see I'm going ahead and finessing the baby hairs to try to make this look as great as possible um, obviously it's not the wig it's just pretty much my application <laughs> but this is what it's looking like um, definitely take your time one of my biggest tips when it comes to doing your baby hairs is don't cut them too short because you can't go back like it's better to you know cut them in little increments at a time especially if you're new to this um, and this is what I was talking about where I would have probably cut the lace just a little bit closer um, to the actual hairline so you can see me going back in um, adjusting Also, the full get ready with me makeup routine aspect will be uploaded in a separate video, so just stay tuned for that. But this is what it's looking like once I take it down. The baby hairs are looking a little bit better, and um, of course, I'm feeling myself. I'm just like, wow. So I didn't brush this unit with a comb or anything. I pretty much just ran my fingers through it just to kind of you know make her look a little bit neater then i added some hairspray just to kind of bump the front up a little bit i did not go in with a um, hot hot comb or anything like that but this wig is pretty much just ready to wear you don't have to do much at all this is what the hairline looks like a little bit closer up and of course you have those blonde pieces framing the face and I feel like this curl pattern definitely just gives it that oomph that it needs for sure. Um, I will say that this wig is pretty lightweight and I didn't feel like it tangled much at all. Of course, like I mentioned before, this is a human hair blend. So I don't know if it's because it's a human hair blend it's not tangling as much. Um, but typically when I use a synthetic wig, I have to carry a brush around just in case. And with this one, like I said, I can pretty much just run my fingers through it and get her together. But I will see you guys for my final thoughts in just a sec. 
Alright guys, so that was the install, that was a little makeup transformation, now I want to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts. So when I first seen this unit, I had to get it, I had to because I want to try something different. I wanted to definitely try something different, but I also feel like I've had so many longer wigs and I haven't really found a wig that was shorter that I loved, but when I saw the picture, when I saw the stock picture of this unit, I think it was featured in like a chocolate brown to blonde, um, I was like, I have to get her. So this color right here is the 1B slash blonde, so it's a little bit darker, but as you can see in this lighting, it's not jet black. There is a little bit of chocolate type of colors in there. And then of course you have this like nice blonde just framing the face. And I feel like the curls are perfect for like what I want it for. It looks like photo shoot ready. Of course I have some new photo shoots coming, some new collabs, a new artist. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this is what it's looking like. So the pros about this unit, definitely it feels lightweight. It feels breathable. I was a little concerned to put a wig on my head while it is hot outside. Let, let's just say that. I mean, y'all know I'm from Phoenix. So um, yeah, I was a little nervous. I feel like this is a season for some protective styles, for some braids. But I will say after putting this unit on, it definitely is super lightweight, it definitely feels breathable, and the fibers of this hair are super soft, like super soft. It doesn't seem like it's going to have any type of tangling issue, but I can definitely keep you guys updated on how, you know, she progresses the more I wear her. And the last thing I do want to mention is I've been running my fingers through her. I I'm trying not to do it as much when I use my synthetic wigs, let's just say that. But um, you know, we have to do the shedding test and I will say I really have not had much shedding and usually it's a real big red flag if you put the unit on and it's already like shedding a ton. Of course we have to take into account, you know cutting the lace and if you cut extra hairs but for the most part I feel like this is definitely going to be in my archive you're gonna be seeing me wear her because I definitely feel cute so anyways that's it for this video guys if you liked it then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one